Hello everyone, thanks for joining. In this video, I'll be talking about the bridal banner we still saw in the game. So a few people have been asking me whether they should pull for this banner. Um, it's a difficult question, but what I thought to do was review each of these units, how good they are in each game mode, including the future treasure and trapdoor. So hopefully this will be a full view of whether you should pull for this banner, but I'll also be giving you my view on whether you should pull for this banner myself. So the bridal banner, should you pull? That's the first question I'll be asking uh, myself and also answering. And then and then next, the rating of each unit, including the TNT mode. Please do like and subscribe if you find this useful. It's a tremendous help. Uh, but also, I have a, few, a little bit of advertisement here. Uh, so our guild, Cargate's guild, called PvP Ness, is looking for new members. Ideally, we're looking for our veterans or experienced players who can compete in GBG or, you know, more recent players, but, you know, quite invested in terms of, um, you know, units, uh, have a lot of like awakening, high awakening units, then, you know, you might be the right candidate. Either case, if you're interested, please do reach out to Kage. I'll leave the details um, in, the, in the chat. So let's look at the bridal banner. And I think in the summary though, it's a great value banner and I think it's worth pulling if you got 30,000 gems. The only uh, caveat I, will ha I have is that be mindful that all potential value banners could that could be coming in a few weeks. I mean, we've seen uh, in JP there were 48 hours banner, which is uh, six steps into the five. So there's some changes and a lot of really good value we saw in, uh, in Japan. Of course, there's no guarantee that we'll see them in global. Um, so, you know, be also mindful of that as well. Um, these units, some of them have a good fit for a, a new TNT mode, in my opinion. But fair warning that that this is based on my my research and my current best thinking. I mean, the game mode hasn't even started, right? So it's likely that I will have a different view when it starts. So don't just pull for, um, on my reviews on TNT, but, you know, put it in the context of like say if you got you know two units you want and then three units you know Ortega said they might be useful in TNTs I'll be okay with that you know that probably be the decision or uh the information I'd like it to be used in that way okay without further ado let's look at each of these units and hope this table makes sense uh, if I as, as I explain them one by one so first of all uh, Mystical Giuliante, she's very good in RTA, uh, especially in Blitz Team, good AoE, um, Snooze, especially High Awakening. Um, she's very good in GVG offense um, for a bait uh, on physical attacks, but also very good in, de uh, in defense too uh, as well. So, um, and then PB, I rated her really high because she's irreplaceable in some stages. Uh, we've seen some in the die uh, high score runs as well, which is a really crucial unit. So I rated a five out of five. Um, in TNT, she does have some good fit in the Bravas, but not the best. So she's okay for one of the stages. So uh, altogether, she's a very, very good unit. I would say one of the two top prizes. Maya, um, she's terrible in RTA. I've not seen her in GBG. She had had a good fit in MBB, so altogether she's been known as a, a bad to poor unit. Um, and but one well, good news for for those who uh, Maya owners is that she could be good for a, a new game of TNT in one of the stages called Woodwind, where Frizz will be advan in advantage, and she has a good resistance for it as well. So I would say she's terrible to terrible to terrible to. Um, average or mediocre uh, at best um, but has a good potential fit for TNT in future um, Mina terrible in RTA terrible in GBG maybe in offense but not the best unit that you you you, you know it's not, it's not a go-to uh, she has had a good fit in MBB in the previous runs so there's a few future potential for that uh, in terms of TNT, she is usable in one stages, but she might be too vulnerable. Her one of the weaknesses doesn't it isn't the best fit. So I rated her um, average in this case. 
um all in all she has some unique skills so she's a nice to have if you don't own her uh, if you get better awakening then she's she's not total dud unit i would say uh shield ash name let's just keep it short she's not great at all um which is sad because she's got a lot of good passive skills um but just doesn't have the good fit in the current game mode so yeah a bit, bit sad but uh hopefully we'll see a good um talent blo talent blossom or something hook up very unique um seen pe seen it around in rta seen it in gbg offense and defense um some potential pv use but uh, not so much um average in tnt uh, usable in one stage but i would say maybe usable to, to good because um he has a she has a survive uh a revive and uh also a heal ability so all, the, all together i think she's a good unit to um gain awakening on if you if you have her already and if it's a first copy then she's absolutely great in the, in your in your box um summer seraphy very good in rta we've seen less of her in recent meta but she might come back with a kaiser metal uh, which is a recent unit who, who could benefit from the heal and also the breath resistance um annoying in gbg defense a little bit unpredictable as a debuff first uh role with a heal um and also on offense you know she's also you know useful with the breast resistance and and so on not seen much pv use but potential mega boss battles are rated at two um this is the the kind of key uh good news for seraphy owners is that she has a very good fit in tnt for two of the stages so absolutely great uh great unit if you want to invest in her so all together uh as a, as overall i would say she's a, a one of the top two you know top two value uh, uh best prizes of this banner summer jessica i rated her average for rta average for gvg uh she's kind of seen we've seen less of her with charm mattering less but uh you know she's a good counter for a darkonium just bit bit weight is a too high of 60 uh just to bring in for um against darkonium so i rated a three or three um pve you know i've not seen her so i rated a two unfortunately she has no good fit for um a tnt so i rated her bad um but overall as, as a unit she has a potential she has a potential to come back even more in in meta in future so i would say she's a she's a good she's a good pull uh of the banner moving on harrowing veronica i've not seen in rta i've not seen in gvg not seen in the pb clear videos however good news she ha she has a good fit as a frizz and zam attacker uh in two of the tnt uh, mold, uh game stages in my opinion so um based on my research so she's usable if you got her uh you know uh, mid to high awakening so good for tnt sage terrible 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 um but again she has a good fit in one of the stages so she could be useful to the tnt maluminary not seen in rta not seen gvg but i have seen her in pve like in high score runs her um damage tiles are still better than antu in terms of top damage so i think it's a nice to have um in terms of tnt mode she's not very good um but she might be usable um on some of the weaker stages so i've rated her average on the on the tnt side so altogether i think she's a nice to have Alnusia Luminid Original, not seen RTA, not seen GVG, not seen that many in PB, but I wouldn't say one, so I rated a two. Uh, similar to Maluminary, not the best, but usable in Bravos. So altogether, I think she's a she's a she's a, a bad unit right now, unfortunately, waiting for Blossom. So in summary, this banner has two very good units out of eleven three of them are going to be usable in tnt mode and then two of them are uh, good uh, to you know to, to be usable in some contents um, two are nice to have and not immediately useful but you might find the useful in the future 
and two currently i cannot just envisage any useful are the ashley and, and luminary again you know this is just my view um so you know hope you take it as a kind of a, a guide rather than at a gospel um and especially around tnt this is like i said my best thinking and uh you know you really need to understand the tnt contents to to know whether you really needed um these units it also depends on what box you got for each of these stages um you you need like roughly 45 units that's good for each of the stage so if you already have a good unit for say parkuso there isn't really a need for a stage starting now so you know there there is that as well so you know be you know don't don't pull just because i said it's it's good for tnt but just something to you know some info to consider if you're gunning for other units you know for example i think that's the way you should use this information anyway that is it for the video hopefully you found this useful and let me know what you think or how you did with the banner um and yeah and hope to see you soon